Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. That's what she could do with. A few Hail Marys. Kylie! Something's got to be worth a shot. We can't stand this for much longer. The most pathetic, insensitive, self-pitying display I have ever witnessed in my entire life. Hmm. She's up. Made a sister look like Kate Middleton. I mean, Max was completely and utterly humiliated in front of all his friends and all their parents. I mean, she should be banned from that school. They should report her to social services. Don't you dare. I mean, it was an absolute disgrace. My association goes back with that school nearly 30 years. I was on the PTA. When? Well, almost. I've helped out at school fairs, I've gone on school trips, done jumble sales, I've donated your old school uniforms, I've even chipped in for teachers' presents. Mum, what, what are you saying? Eh, that you're perfect, is no, that it? Is no, that what you're saying? No, I'm not perfect, I'm far from it. I've got me faults and plenty of them, but her... <sighs> She's not fit for purpose. Morning. Morning. Morning, is that all you've got to say? Kylie, wait. Look, we've taken the kids to his grands. How are you? you She's wrong? a disgrace. That's what she is. She's a disgrace. And I thought you were bad. What's Tina? It's 5 2. Oh, no, I, oh, I didn't arrange anything for today. Huh? You didn't? It's Christmas holidays. What did you expect would happen? Peter, I've told you this a million times. No, I just assumed, you know, that Deirdre would have him, or, or maybe Leanne. Leanne will be working. You can't just... You can't just put upon Deirdre, you know. Anyway, he needs to be with somebody young and vibrant, not a middle-aged woman who sits around all day watching TV, waiting for half past five to crack the wine open. Oh, all right, I'll, I'll tell her you said that. Mm. And also, six o'clock when she's at home. So she says, ring Tina. Look, I can't just ask Tina to drop everything. It's fine, look, I look after him today. It's no problem. No, 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 you don't get paid to child mind. You get paid to work for me. With me. I need you in the office and I need Aaron here, OK? Is Aaron even awake? Yeah, he's lying in bed reading his book. She's going into work. Hallelujah. And what about an apology? Is she going to say sorry? I don't know. Are you going to say sorry? I heard her. I'm sorry. Good. And I expect you to say the same to Max. And that's just the start. You've got a long way to go before you make this right, young lady. I said sorry to shut you up. It obviously didn't work. I mean, how much would it cost, eh? A couple of bottles of wine, a crate of cider and a few crisps. I don't get what you talk about. Well, same as we talk about if we were in the pub. Why don't you just go to the pub? What, and pay for it ourselves? We always used to have a Christmas party. Maybe it's him, just because he doesn't drink, he doesn't want anybody else to have any fun. Or maybe they spent it all on their nuptials. Probably. It's off his cash. Probably spent it all on shoes and honeymoons and to hell with those worker bees. Hi, Carla. Yeah, sure, no problem. OK, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. It's Carla. She wants me to open up the room a bit late. Hey, I thought we could have a bite to eat in the bistro later, if they let us out early. Well, those two, they're not going to let you out early, are they? She's a selfish cow who spent all the money on shoes, and he's too tight to fork out for a do because he's a raving alcoholic and he didn't want anybody else having any fun. Oh, they're all right. See you later. Mm. Bye! Yes, but why can't you tell her? Because she was really looking forward to it. You've got to at least text her. Right? All right, then, whatever. I'll break it to her gently. Yeah, if I get a chance. Bye. Rosette was meant to be coming for Christmas, and now she's not. Why not? Because she can't be bothered. What kind of excuse is that? The honest one. Oh, look at the state of you. Excuse me? You may as well have come in a tracksuit. We haven't got a uniform. No, we've got an understanding that we dress smartly for work. That's a matter of opinion. You what? No. How's Max today? He's OK, why? Why? Because you staggered on the stage and then dragged him out of the nativity in front of the old school, that's why. He'll be traumatised for life. He isn't. And why are we, eh? Because we're products of our parents, what they did and didn't do. I suppose. OK, 
Kylie, don't give up. How's Max? Oh, how's Max? How's Max? I took him home from a school play, so what? You didn't take him home, you dragged him off the stage in front of everyone. It was despicable. Oh, despicable me. You know, you better pull your finger out. This is a verbal warning. Well, what's it got to do with work? Your general conduct. Do you really think the customers want to see this? I do for some. You're sailing pretty close to the breeze. Remember, final warning. I thought you said it was a verbal warning. Look, we shouldn't be too I really hard. don't want to wear it. Okay. What's going on? I thought I said I'd meet you at the park. What, today? Yeah, today. 10 a.m. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> working today, man. It's just... Check my diary. I'm sure there's been some sort of oversight. Oh, we've just been chatting to Sophie, and she says she's in this morning. Well, this year, let's just have a look now, shall we? And uh, you know what? You're right. I know I'm right. Mm -hmm. and it's here, it's in black, and it's in white. What's that? What's what? That. Well, that. Well, that's, um, that's Sophie's breakfast. You know, she was here earlier on today. <laughs> well, that girl, she really needs to, to look to her diet, doesn't she? You should take her under your wing. It's still warm. Well, yeah, no, it's warm. That's because she... It's your breakfast and you're about to eat it, Dev. Look, there's no point us doing this unless you're going to take it seriously. Well, I know, no, just one little treat. Look, this is what they eat in America, man. This is where they have the highest levels of obesity in the world. Yeah, and they also produce Usain Bolt. He's Jamaican. Let's just go home and change, yeah? Where's my vision in life? Come on! No, I can't. All right, I cannot leave the shop unattended. I can't do it. Hiya, oh, sorry I'm late, Dad. Oh, as if by magic the shopkeeper appears. I will go and I will change. This same bolt American, I mean. No, but that's what I thought, and you just said, yeah, like renown. Yeah, I'm going, man. I'm going. Okay, so that's green beans, carrots, parsnips, and sprouts. Do you like parsnips, Amy? Never heard of them. She doesn't like sprouts. Well, nobody really likes sprouts, do they? So I'll cross them off. Whoa, 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 hold it right there. I like sprouts. Sprouts get a terrible press. Plus, it's Christmas. Sprouts are compulsory. Right, OK. And are we bothering with Christmas pudding? Are we bothering with a Christmas pudding? Steve, you don't even like Christmas pudding. That's not the point. You don't like Christmas cake either. You don't like currants. I still eat it, though. Oh, <laughs> why do you eat it if you don't like it? Because it's tradition. Sprouts, Christmas pudding. You'll be doing away with the turkey next. Right, OK. I will get a very small Christmas pudding. <laughs> Who's that? Who do you think? It's Andrea. Well, what does she want? Uh, she wants to know which kind of whiskey she should get for her dad for Christmas. Well, why is she asking you? Because of a publican. Publican? A schoolboy you are. So what are you telling her? Well, I'm suggesting a few. Anyway, what's so funny about her asking you which whiskey to buy her dad? Because she calls her dad by his first name, which I think's funny. It's, uh, Roger. Roger. Crackers. We need Christmas crackers. Well, I'm going to town in a bit, so I'll get all this. Hey, you know them jokes that they put in Christmas crackers? Mm. Does Andrea write them? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to work here. Right, will you take Amy with you? Cos otherwise she will get under our feet. Thanks. Uh, I, ca I can't. Why not? Well, why do you think? There'll be a few things I want to buy which I don't want Amy to see. <sighs> Peter's never mentioned anything. I assumed you'd have made arrangements. Never assume anything with Peter. <laughs> We've got a plan B. Well, I don't know. I might have. I don't know what Deirdre's doing. Truth be told, I'd rather you have him, even if she was free. Well, I'd love to, but I've still got presents left to buy. Are you sure you're not scuttling enough to see my little brother? No. Mm. That's a pity. I'd rather have you as a sister in law any day. Oh, well, that's not saying much, <laughs> is it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Look, I know how boring it is looking after Simon, and uh, I just wondered if you had enough of it. No. Well, I wouldn't do it in a hurry, paid or not. Look. If you don't mind him coming shopping with me, I'd be more than happy to help. Oh, no, Tina would be really grateful, honestly. Honestly, this is all Peter's fault. He should have booked you in. I don't know what he thought would happen. You know what they're like. Mm -hmm. They just think everything's going to magically fall into place. Can I bring him round in five, then? Is that cool? You're the boss? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good King Wenceslas, last look down. You're on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even. 
Oh, hello, Roy. <laughs> Haley. Hi, Tim. Get anywhere nice? Chemotherapy. Oh, oh dear, all right. Let me pay you while you're here, Tim. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me, Mr. Cropper. Yeah. Thank you. I've got a two pound coin in here somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Happy Christmas, Tim. And happy Christmas to you, Mrs. Cropper. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to let them go early this afternoon. Yeah? How comes? How comes? Yes. <laughs> because it's Christmas, Peter. I know. Hey, bless them, they've worked hard, haven't they? Most of them. What, what about uh, Tina? Do you want me to let her go early? Listen to me. I felt bad about today. She had her own plans and I guilt tripped her into it. You should give her a Christmas bonus. You can do that, can't you? What? Give Tina a Christmas bonus. Yep, yeah, of course. Yes, and I want you to talk to her properly, like I asked you to in the first place. Find out whether she wants to do Christmas holidays. She didn't seem that keen to me. No, well, <laughs> imagine the novelty's probably worn off. You know what it's like. Oh, poor Simon. He'll be devastated. Yeah. But don't pressure her into it. I mean, if she wants the extra cash, that's fine. If she doesn't, you've got to let her go. It'd be a shame, though, won't it? She's absolutely perfect for it. You know, girls like Tina don't grow on trees, do they? No, they don't. Still there. Did you speak to her? No, I saw Leanne outside. Said she's making an effort. Well, good. But let's not pretend she's Joan of Arc, eh, just because she's gone into work. You have to write a letter of apology to that school. Saying what? My wife is a lunatic. What do you think? Saying sorry over and over again. Sorry for embarrassment caused. Sorry for putting the kids through it. Goodness knows what the parents will think of us. They'll avoid us like the plague next term. We'll be that family. We've always been that family. Did you speak to Gran? Max is still very quiet. All this mummy's not herself, mummy's very quiet. The lad's not daft. Well, what do you want me to say? Eh? Mummy's a nightmare. There's no telling what mummy's gonna do next. I mean, that's not very reassuring, is it? Hey, I love. Right, I'm nipping into town. Where's the list? Um, here it is. Diamonds, you wanted. How big are we talking? Hmm, do you know about that big? And do you think you might like anything else? A sports car, perchance? Yeah, go on then. Throw in a car. Nice Lexus, not like that. <laughs> Three weeks on the Caribbean island? Hmm, only if there's nobody else on it. Let's see what I can do. Thanks. Don't forget the sprouts. Would I? And don't be long, we're already busy. Oh, hey, can you uh, grab that Katy Perry CD as well for Eamon? Oh, and will you get me some more wrapping paper? Anything else? So what are you volunteering for, exactly? Well, it'll just be like helping out, you know, serving, chatting. Just gets me out of the house, really. Do they get a Christmas dinner? Yeah, with all the trimmings, pudding, you name it. it sounds all right. Yeah. The only bad thing is they haven't got a home to go to. Imagine being on the streets for Christmas and looking through people's windows, seeing all the families warm and cosy. Yeah, it's never like that, though, is it? They're always sulking and arguing and complaining about what they've been bought. Can't decide what they want to watch on telly. Who's always bedlam. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Steve. Hey, do us a favour, will you, boss? Get some more hot water. Hey, I'm paying you to do the windows so I don't have to do anything. That's Michelle, damn going out. So lazy. Why is that lazy? He only lives over the road. If he wants to get himself some hot water, he can go and get it from there, can't he? Otherwise, I'm paying him to do what? That? Anyone can do that, Sophie. It's called overheads, you've got to think on. <coughs> Might as well pay me now, then. Eight quid, innit? Yep. Huh. I've got two quid in here somewhere. I think a bit short of change. Uh, there's 160. 180. Let's see. Two. Thank you. 
Happy Christmas. Oh, come on, don't be like that. You've only done them a couple of times. That doesn't exactly warrant a tip, does it? I'll give you a tip next year if you're still doing them. See you later. <laughs> wow. It's for you, is this? Ah, oh, thanks. Are you going to meet with your dad and Carla? Nah. Why not? What's the point? You should look at it for about a second. Pretend she liked it and sticking it in first thing boxing day. <laughs> All right, well, how about Leanne? I mean, you should make one for Leanne and Nick, at least. Go on, as soon as we got pants out. All right, well, yeah, wait, wait, you're making a mess of that. Is there any more newspaper lying around? There's last night's Gazette in my dad's room. Should I get it? Yeah, go on, go on. Ooh. Hello. Hey, it's me. Yeah, I know, it's you, Peter. Look, uh, I, I need to speak to you. What about? We're just looking after Simon, you know, over the Christmas holidays. Okay, go on. Well, just the thing. Actually, um, stop there. Well, this is like official business, so shouldn't we speak in person? I could drop Simon off at Deirdre's and then we can talk properly. Ooh. What, what do you want to talk about? Childcare. <laughs> Keep up here. Why don't you drop Simon off at Deirdre's and then go back to the flat and I'll see you there in about an hour? Okay. Yeah. Well, bye then. Sorry, I got reading an article about the council's plans for the new bypass. What? Newspaper. Oh, OK, thank you. I remember to smile, will you? I have been smiling. No, you've not. You've been scowling. Fine. I will smile. Good. That was your time when we first started. Mm. That was your time last week. Mm. And this is your time this morning. Whoa. Look at that. At this rate, I will be going to Rio. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. in the Mardi Gras. <laughs> now, you've got a way to go. Look, this is what one of my other clients runs it in. How about our young C? She is 55 and four stone overweight, but she's been at it for a year. Now, you'll soon cruise past that if we keep this up. You know, I've been thinking about buying a bicycle. What brought that on? Well, I read this article on that uh, Tommy Simpson. It's amazing. I also like the shirts they wear with a little zip on the collar. It's a really nice one with a stripe down the side, like a gold. Dev, animal. Dev, Dev, come on, Sexy. man. See what? <laughs> None of that stuff matters. Yeah, well, no, no, but if I fancy the gear and it helps a little bit with the uh, extra motivation, then what's the harm, man? Hmm? What's the harm? Can I, um, get you gents another? Uh, same again, please, Kylie. Can I get anything in that lemonade of yours? How about straw? How much pain? Quite a lot. I thought you were mainly just tired. Well, yeah, I, I've been tired too, but I have been in pain. I, I've been taking more painkillers than usual. OK. Well, I'll see if the consultant's available. And Dr Ganatra, well, why, why do I need to see you? Well, she just want to ask you a few questions and then we'll take it from there. Right, yeah. OK. Yeah, thanks. Christmas card from Kevin this morning. Oh, eh? What did it say? Yeah. I presume it said Happy Christmas, but it was in German. No, inside the card. Um, well, it just said, hope you have a good one, you know, blah, blah, blah. What do you mean, blah, blah, blah? You can see it if you like. It's all above board. Good. I'm gonna give Rosie a ring later, find out what time a train comes in tomorrow. Oh, she's not coming. What? Well, didn't Sophie tell you? What do you mean? Why is she not coming? I don't know. Can't be bothered. Sorry. So, when you get a new client, what is the first thing that you do with them? I'll get a sense of who they are, what they want, take down a few details. Like the phone number? Height, weight, heart rate, diet. See how fit they are. Well, if they're really fit, they wouldn't come to me. Can I get you anything else? No, we're fine, thank you. If you could just leave us be. Well, I might be in touch. I fancy a session or two. <laughs> Kyla, can I have a word a minute? Yeah. You're making a show of yourself. How am I? You're always telling me to be more friendly. Have you been drinking? Well, I had a GMT on my break. Well, I don't smell any tea. <sighs> I can see it in your eyes. You're on a final warning, remember? I'm always on a warning.
has she been? Borderline. She shouldn't be here. It's as simple as that. Come to check up on me, have you? We've come to check you're OK. We're not together anymore. I don't even know why you're bothering. Oh, yeah, and she's had a drink. At work? Not like you've never done it. Maybe, um, I mean, you could go for a drink together when I've finished. I get off in half an hour. I've got to pick up my son. Can't his mother do it? She's dead. Oh, my lucky day. Kylie. What? Oh, hey, up. I think you might be on for a scrap here. I won't worry, though. I'm we'll probably take him in your sleep. Who? Mm -hmm. Her husband. We're separated. Should hope so. Don't worry, it's not your fault, Kylie. Do you want to come with me? No, thanks. Please. Mm -hmm. Just ignore him. Well, that's a bit difficult. You're embarrassing yourself. Do you mind? I'm at work. She's trying to make a point, unless she's forgotten what it is. Actually, I would watch yourself. The last time he got jealous, they had to cut Nick free. Okay, Kylie. Oh, it's all about to kick off over there. Cut Nick free. My steak's a bit tough, isn't it? True. Not. He couldn't resist me, and he didn't resist me. So do you know what David did? Okay, you need to stop this. When they were in the van That's together, enough. he grabbed the steering wheel. She's drunk. That's right. It's all David's fault. All right, Kylie, out. Get off. You see? That's the problem with this family. You're all frightened of the truth. <laughs>